All right, I think I'm going to read one more. Then um, I will continue tomorrow. So, continuing on with day 10. Scripture reading is from Ephesians 3.19. To know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Ollie wrote in his prayer journal on a March morning in Iraq, I am so full of the Holy Spirit that lives in my heart that my small body cannot contain the measure of the love he has given me. He didn't know that that day would be the last time he would see his family and that three days later he would die at the hands of terrorists. Ali's body may have been small, but his heart loved others with a hugeness rarely seen. In the prior three months, Ali had won seven Muslims to Christ, yet he yearned to win so many more. He expressed his desire to his wife to win one person for Christ a day, 365 days a year. Ali knew his speaking of Jesus with others could be the very reason he would be silenced forever. He reminds us of Stephen, whose inspiring story is found in Acts 6 and 7. Stephen was one of seven men chosen to serve tables, verse, uh, chapter 6, verse 2. So the disciples could devote themselves to prayer and the preaching of the word. The requirements for those seven servers men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, from verse 3. Of the seven listed, Stephen is singled out with this tagline, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, verse 5. Did you notice the repetition of a word, full? Stephen more than fulfilled the requirements because he was full of both faith and the Holy Spirit. But his fullness didn't stop there. Just three verses down, we learn what Stephen was up to when he wasn't serving tables. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. From verse 8. Is it any wonder that when he was brought before his false accusers, his face was like the face of an angel? Verse 15. And out of his fullness flowed a bold and powerful speech that led to his death by stoning? Remember Peter and John when the Jewish leaders forbade them to speak any more about Jesus? How can we not be impressed by their response? We cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard, Acts 4.20. Their love for Jesus overflowed and they simply couldn't help but speak of him no matter the consequences. Allie and Stephen lived with that same passion for our Lord, going deeper. We don't often think of fullness as a quality of a Christian, but it is God's perfect provision for the emptiness expressed by people before they come to know Jesus. Think of those in your life whose lives appear full, but whose hearts are empty. Family members, neighbors, co-workers, members of your local community, and beyond. What an exciting privilege that out of the fullness of God within us, we can overflow his love to every empty heart around us. And then the closing prayer. Jesus, we stand in awe of you and your all in followers, such as Ali and Stephen, who both gave their lives to proclaim your love. Ah, and now we see what they had in common with you. Dear Lord, a love so deep that they gave their lives so others may know the life eternal found only in you. Comfort Allie's beloved family and give them daily strength. Thank you for the fullness found in you, especially the fullness of your love that compels us to share you with our neighbors and loved ones needing your love. Amen. All right, so that will do it for this video, reading through day 10. So until the next one, guys, you all take care and God bless.